Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day. Hallelujah. Give him glory and give him honor. You know, I had actually made a post about this, but then my spirit got stirred up to actually do a, um, a video. So my family on YouTube and everybody else that follows me on Tumblr, on all the other outlets that I use, right? Well, I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't think y'all realize how dangerous what I'm talking about. I'm going to say it again. Dismiss anyone or anything that drains you or wastes your time, period. These end times are too serious, but I want to elaborate on it. It's not just about draining somebody. Let me tell you something, and I'm on one with this one. Oh, I'm going to have to slow this thing down because you know how you feel it in your spirit. Do you know the enemy sends people to hurt you, kill you, destroy you? This thing is serious. I'm talking about warlocks, witches, to marry you, to seduce you, to throw you off your game, to, to stop you from serving God, whatever it takes. I'm so serious. It's, it's happened to me. I'm not even going to front. I told y'all about my ex-husband. That stuff was real. I almost died. And it was hard to walk away. So you have to ask God, God, give me the strength to walk away. Give me the spirit to walk away. Let me love me more than anything else. Let me tell you something. I'm going to make it plain and simple. Praise God. Praise God. Anybody that drains you, that doesn't like you, that hurts you, that breaks your spirit. Why would you want to be around that anyway? It's called soul ties. Sometimes you can get used to getting mistreated. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. You can get used of being mistreated people. You have to teach people how to value you, but first you have to value yourself and you can't do this without God. You have to get in that Bible. You have to renew your mind. Uh, it's a lot of people that want to do better, but they don't know how to be better. And the reason why they don't know how to be better is because they haven't gotten into the Bible. The word of God changes you. The word of God rearranges you. The word of God gives you strength. The word of God gives you courage. You cannot do this on your own. Flesh is a mess. I've tried it. I've tried everything. And that I had to thank you God for King Jesus. You can't be strong on your own. You keep trying to do that. And, and listen, this is how you know. You call strength having sex with all different women. You call strength drinking alcohol, doing drugs. Anybody that needs something else to make them strong or courageous, you are weak. I'm saying it. I'm breaking that thing down. Y'all know it's true. You got to pack a gun because you're scary. You don't want no butt whipping. Oh, I'm on one this morning or this afternoon, whatever. This thing go deep when I say this. This not just a, 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 a post. This stuff is real. The enemy sends people to steal, kill, and destroy your spirit. I'm going to tell you right now, this thing hit me hard this morning. Because and I'm, 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 I'm going here. I'm going here. Yeah, I'm going to go here. I wasn't going to go here, but I'm going here. There was somebody that I called myself interested in. And this is very recently, by the way. Let me tell you something. I've never been a hater. I'm cool like that. Let me tell you something. But if you ain't interested, that's cool. But what you're not going to do is take me on a journey. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going somewhere. Let me tell you something. People have the choice. You can't make nobody love you. Y'all need to stop that. Quit trying to manipulate a man or a woman. If they're not feeling you, they're not feeling you. That doesn't mean that they're bad people. But what we're not going to do, we're not going to play no games. God bless you. Go your little way now. Go, go, go about your business now. Because here's the deal. If you're trying to hurt me, then you want no one anyway. So we're not, we don't have to play that game. Come on somebody. And I don't wish you bad. God bless you. But what we're not going to do is allow each other to be our spirit to be broken. And then we feel in some kind of way. Now we're discouraged, depressed, oppressed, suppressed. The devil is a lie. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because now you're in the way. You're in the way of who's supposed to come. Go ahead about your business. God bless you. Yeah, we were attracted to each other, but we not something's wrong. When it's wrong, it's wrong. When it's right, it's right. I, I, I don't know how to express it other than that. Y'all be trying to make something happen. Y'all be trying to manipulate people. Honey, let me tell you something. If you got to do all that, that ain't God. Let me tell you something. God will send you somebody that love you for you. You ain't got to do no tricks. <laughs> y'all don't hear me. You ain't got to do all that. Y'all know what y'all be doing. I got to change my hair. I see women. You don't even know who you are. One minute you got short hair, long hair, blonde hair, blue hair, trying to change. And I, I see y'all be taking all these selfies. I know y'all trying to impress these men on here. If you got to do all that, that's not the one for you. Because truth be told, 
that's only going to catch their attention for a little bit. And after they get what they want, they're going anyway to the next one straight up. But when it's a spiritual connection that God has placed, you ain't got to do all that. Oh no. Oh no. I'm telling you right now, you better grow up. You better get strong. They prey on weak people, people with low self-esteem. I'm going somewhere. And we're not just talking about a relationship. We're talking about friendship too. Anytime a person don't respect you, you got to bounce. I don't care what y'all say. Yes, I love the Lord, but you are not, you're not going to mistreat me. You're not going, you're not going to talk to me crazy. No, we're not doing that because what happens? Then that's called breaking somebody's spirit. And when you break their spirit, you're subject to other demonic entities. Cause now you, you're trying to be oppressed, suppressed, depressed. And now you start getting in a spirit of anger and that's how people get hurt. Y'all wonder why people kill each other. This stuff starts off with friendship or relationship. Somebody hurt somebody. Somebody disrespected somebody. All that could be stopped if you start having standards. The standard is, you don't like me, cool. God bless you. What we doing? What we doing? You see, when I was 20, anything goes. When I was 30, I was flirty. When I was 40, oh, Lordy. Now I'm 50, what we doing? You like me, you're not. God bless you, then bye. <laughs> I ain't got time to play around with you. <laughs> and that's on any level, friendship level. You, you don't want to be friend. God bless you. You don't want to connect. God bless you. You better y'all y'all better stop getting stuck. Stop getting stuck. Well, I really like them. Well, or, or who they know or who they are. The devil is a lie. The devil. You better love you. Come on, somebody. I'm on one. That's how people getting kidnapped. That's how people getting killed. God, let me tell you something. You don't have to be a prophet to have a feeling of maybe I shouldn't go somewhere. Maybe I shouldn't be with that person. Maybe I shouldn't. You don't know how many times, now true enough, if you know my history and my story and my testimony, I almost got killed seven times, but I didn't tell you the times that God told me, Deanna, don't go here. That That's extra. And, and I felt it. And I wasn't even, you know, saved then. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm not feeling it. Something wrong. And do you know, every time somebody got somebody I was, I went to, somebody got arrested. Somebody got killed at that spot. It was always something bad that happened. As a matter of fact, one thing that I would never forget when I was 16 and I don't know why, like I said, but I got maybe a testimony for some of you young people. When I was 16, um, you know, I, I was just out there. I got molested when I was 12. And so by 16, mama couldn't do nothing with me, truth be told. I usually just, she say, no, I jump out the window. I'm gone, mama. But that night, mama wasn't having it. <laughs> mama was by the door. Mama was put a chair by the door. I said, oh, Lord, this woman tripping. My mom saved my life that night. My best friend, who I was going to meet and was going to go out, she got killed. She was stabbed over 70 something times. So I've been going through it since I was 16. So I know what people are about. I know the games people play. I know the hatred people have. I know the jealousy you have. I don't have time for them games. So, and then with the gift that I know now that I possess, I'm going to peep your game anyway. And if I miss it, God going to wake me up two, three o'clock in the morning. Deanna, let's talk. What am I saying? You guys stop going with your emotions and your feelings. You know, Honestly, as a human being, you're going to feel love for people because God is love. But you got to start asking some hard questions. God, did you send this person? God, is this person good for me? And then to be honest with you, y'all be knowing they're not good. But but I'm going to be honest with you. Most of y'all start having sex with men or women or better yet, even the friendship. Well, I'm lonely. I don't have no friends. Let me tell you something. I was serious about the way I live my life. I'm I'm mostly alone. I do have a few a few friends. And I test them because if they start tripping, ask them if I don't be like, we got a problem here. Something wrong. I don't mind being by myself. I don't mind rolling by because what I'm not going to do is have you in my house or in my face wondering why you really there. The devil is a lie. Y'all, but I, 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 this is nothing but love. I'm not bashing nobody. Trust me. I'm just telling you, it's time out. People are dying, sex trafficking, people getting killed. And do you know most murderers, they know they murder their friends, their family. What's wrong with y'all? Their lovers, ex-lovers. Start making better choices. That's all I'm saying. This stuff is real. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not having it. And hold on, I used to do it too. You know, I give people chances because I do love people. I, I generally, as a woman of God, you have to have love in your heart. You can't be ugly. But what I've learned, I'm not going to be stupid. You start showing signs you're not interested. And hold on, I'm talking about from friendship to love ship to whatever ship. 
Honey, you can jump ship. God bless you. And guess what? You don't have to have malice toward people just because they live out of your life in any capacity. Stop that foolishness. You don't have to be ugly. Get on Facebook, start acting crazy or even talking bad about people to other people. That's not the way to roll. You have to be mature in life. But what I'm not going to do is play games. And that's what I'm talking about. You guys know when people don't like you. You guys know when the vibe is off. You guys know when something is wrong. All I'm saying is follow your spirit. That's what I'm saying. This whole life, this whole moral, follow your spirit. God is never going to lead you to something that hurts you, that kills you, that threatens you, that puts you in a position. Or oh, let's talk about this one. Anybody that puts you in a position of any kind of harm's way, financially, emotionally, physically, they got to go. Family, friends, whatever, you gotta go. You gotta, I, 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 you, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get about here. <laughs> I'm on one. I don't play. I don't, I don't play. You can ask anybody that know me. I'm not trying to say like I'm a bad person and this and that, but they know I don't play. I live this thing for real. Don't come in my face with that foolishness. Don't come in my life with no drama. I'm drama free, and I mean that. I love you. I don't mind helping you, but if you start pulling too much, I'm gonna ask you what's what's up. Because everybody's supposed to carry their own water. There it goes. If any, I don't care even a friend. And y'all can be knowing each other for 20, 30 years. Sister, brother, even family. We're supposed to carry our own water. Now, we all need help from time to time. That's true. But when this start being a consistency, then wait a minute. What, what's up with this? You, you're trying to use somebody? You got to carry your own water. And that's for anybody. Me, you, whomever. That's all I'm saying. It's, it's time. 2020 forget just 2020 right now start making better choices if they ain't rolling with you <laughs> they can go i love you and I'll always in with love you ain't gotta hate nobody you ain't gotta you ain't gotta be ugly peace god bless you i wish you the best you know hallelujah this stuff real on any note and guess what and i still love you my friend my ex my this my that but what i'm not gonna do is allow you to come into my life because here's what happens. Now, this is a serious note what I'm getting ready to say. When you, are get, when, you, when you are thrown off, you are thrown off in the physical and the spirit. Don't act like y'all ain't never been there. When you get depressed and oppressed, you can't pray like you normally pray, man. You, you'll miss stuff. You'll start, acting, you'll start making bad choices like, oh, my God, what's going on? That's because you have allowed a spirit to attach to you. So now you got to go back to God, ask God to cleanse you. Come on, somebody, to sever that thing because you didn't got some kind of soul tie. That's why you have to be careful who you communicate with. Check everything at the door. I don't care if it was me. If the person is not authentic, God bless you. Bye. Wait, 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 whatever. Talk all crazy if you want. And another thing, stop making fast decisions. God takes his time. People that fast talk and do all that fast stuff and want you to hurry and make a decision, that's not God. That's the enemy. Because they don't want to give you a chance to pray about it, talk about it, and understand it. God always takes his time. I used to didn't, I didn't understand why. Now I understand why he's telling us and showing us how to do that. Quit moving so fast. Pray to me. Wait for wisdom and confirmation. Use wisdom and discernment. Stop being so fast. If y'all really be honest with yourself, every time you make mistakes, you move fast. Move a little slow. Because if it's really for you, whatever it is, I'm talking about a dream, a relationship, a goal, a job. It's not going to go anywhere. What's for you is for you. And that's all I got to say about that. Praise God. Hallelujah. So this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless. Y'all have a blessed day.